Even though Magellan is one of the strongest opponents Luffy has ever faced in the whole series, many people are confused over what type of devil fruit he had. Well, today, I'm going to tell you. When Magellan fights, he covers himself in a body armor of poison, and this has caused many people to believe he is a poison Logia because his poison body armor prevents you from actually being able to hit him. So when Luffy punched Magellan, his hand went right through him and was just hitting poison. However, this is not the case. He is not a poison Logia. Instead, he is comparable to Treble. Thanks to the powers of his thick, thick fruit, Treble would cover himself in a sticky substance like armor that he would use to give off the appearance of a Logia type Devil Fruit user. However, it was later revealed that he had actually incredibly skinny and was just covering himself with a large amount of this sticky material to make it appear as though he couldn't be hit. Because you would think you were hitting part of his body and you would just go right through it. However, it was actually because there was just nothing there because underneath he was so skinny. Magellan is very similar, but only difference is he is not very skinny. Magellan is not a Logia-type Devil Fruit user, but a Paramecium-type Devil Fruit user with the ability to create poison and immunity to poison. Therefore, he can cover himself in poison without it affecting his body negatively. So, because he is covered in poison, uh, with so much poison, I guess you could say, he covered with so much poison that he the punches of his enemy will go right through the poison and will just then be drenched in poison. You punch Magellan, your fist will go into the poison and it won't land on his actual body. It will just be stuck inside of this like hole filled with poison and you'll be covered in poison. So you would get damaged. It is actually a very clever trick to give off the illusion of somebody needing hockey to hurt you. In fact, theoretically, hockey would be useless against Magellan because you would still need to be able to find and pinpoint his actual body underneath all the poison and attack that. Because if you were to hit like a part of him that didn't have actual any flesh and blood body behind it, you would just be cutting poison. So if Zoro were to fight Magellan, half of the time he would probably just be cutting poison. He would have to actually get close enough to the real body to do the damage. I've always thought this was very interesting. So yeah, in conclusion, Magellan is just a Paramecium type Devil Fruit user who uses a Paramecium ability to cover himself in enough poison that he gives off the appearance of a Logia type Devil Fruit user. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like. If you want more content like this, subscribe. Tell me your thoughts on it in the comment section down below. And above all else guys, have a great day. The One Piece Nation, signing out.